<laughs> well, with the NYXL and the Titans both sitting undefeated at the top of the season standings, every map matters. Coming into this match against Philly today, the NYXL had exactly that on their mind. They have to do it against a team that, in our history, has defeated them more than anyone else. The Fusion, you know, not trying to be a victim of another 4-0, were able to take a map. Yes, and I think, <laughs> you know, it's a weird when we watch the Philadelphia Fusion because, again, it's another one of these teams going up against the top three team. And so how well did the Philadelphia Fusion play? I would say, personally, they played better than I was expecting them to. Yeah. They certainly played better than the 4-0 thrashing that they had earlier in this stage. I saw some of the players tweet afterwards they thought they could have played better. I, I think this was actually a step up in performance for the Philadelphia Fusion. They shouldn't feel too bad about this, I think. Yeah, but this mano play right here is ridiculous. Ooh, uh, like the space he was able to create. So this is why I think the NYXL is becoming a very dangerous team because it's not just this robotic 3-3 defensive style. They're throwing some curveballs this stage. Now, how clutch was that switch to Hammond right there? No, at, at the end of that fight. Well, it was pretty crazy, but also Jonak just sniped EQO across the point as well. So if Mano <laughs> hadn't made that play, they probably would have would have won off the back of Jonak. And uh, this game reaffirmed for me just how unbelievably nutty Jonak is yes. on everything. On the Mei, on the Ana, on the Zenyatta. You, you, you kind of take him for granted at times. There were so many excuses last year. Oh, he gets pocketed. Oh, they did close. No, it's not really that, is it? No, it's just every single player is pulling their weight and then some. And it's just the ad adaptability this team has, like in the moment, how uh, how quickly they can switch, not just their heroes, but also the way they play around their opponents. And I think this is really what always makes them come out on top. So, do you want to give a shout out to the true play of the game here in this match? Who's is that Mono and Reaper? Yes. Like, oh my God, no, I don't. Mono was I do not want to encourage this behavior. Absolutely not. I will say this: uh, after the Philadelphia Fusion won a, a fight here, where they picked uh, both of NYXL's supports, and NYXL was still able to clutch, and then they get held underneath. That's mentality breaking for the Philadelphia Fusion, and. and I think they'll come out of it feeling really bad because they ended on such a low note on Gibraltar. But overall, the series wasn't that bad from them. 